Hello and welcome back. I hope you guys are having a wonderful Friday afternoon. So, I don't know some of you catch my earlier videos, but finally we finished installing SSPs. So 98 millimeter on SSP burst. Uh, uh, I installed the 2015, the pre-2015 SSP burst. Uh, there are, I heard from a lot of people, there are most sought after the bird design and bring out a lot of sweetness and the best for filtered coffee. So before we, uh, I install the SSP, I already pre-grind some coffee uh, this morning. Okay, hold on. It's on the vacuum canister here. I, <clears throat> I pre-grind 15 grams of uh, so this is the left hand coffee from Thailand. It's called yellow honey. Okay. Great tasting notes. I already uh, pre ground 15 gram. So I'm, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to brew another 15 gram using the SSPs. I have exact same. Uh, we're going to do the uh, V60 method and let's find out. Okay. Is there any taste difference? from stock burr versus SSP because SSP is not cheap, okay? It's not cheap. So by the way, I'm gonna big shout out to Joe from Espresso Outlet to provide this machine so we can play on this channel, okay? By the way, uh, uh, Joe just informed me that the DF64 is on sale as we speak on his website. So uh, if you guys are interested, make sure to check out here. Let me flip it over. So he's selling his DF64 at $400 now, guys, $400. So make sure, uh, if you guys are in market for DF64, make sure to check it out. By the way, get, uh, if you can get the SSP burst on that uh, DF64, especially, I really enjoy the MP burst. These are fantastic. And also cast burst. High uniformity. Uh, it depends, okay, but personally, I like the multi-purpose, uh, very, you know, again, okay, it's multi-purpose. The fact was, I tested uh, uh, DF64 with the MP burst on the filter coffee. I like the taste better than EK43 stock burst. So, I mean, it says a lot about the, the MP burst on SSP. So, again, uh, make sure if you are in the market, make sure to check out the Joe's website. I'm going to put the link down below. But meantime, let's brew some coffee. All right, let's brew some coffee here. Should be fun. I cannot wait to try this one. I cannot wait for this. Here we go. By the way, so this morning I took out the stock bird. So this is what inside uh, S uh, EK43. And I uh, replaced that with the SSPs. Again, uh, sh I cannot wait. Okay, I cannot wait for this. All right, so let's brew some coffee. All right, so I think I'm going to start with, you know what, let's start with this. Hold on. I'm going to start with a stock burst first. I'm going to start with the stock burrs. So let's set this one at SSPs. Okay, I'm just going to heat up my water here. There we go. Just going to heat up my I'm just going to do a little bit of WDT here, just make sure nice and flat. I got 16 gram, 
Uh, so let's be the consistency wise. Let's go. We're gonna do 15. Okay, I'm gonna take about gram out from the coffee. We're gonna do 15 gram. There we go. Yep. That's it. All right, here we go. So I'm gonna be I'm gonna be blooming for 30 seconds first at 30 gram. I'm gonna use my spoon to rigorously. Yep. You're gonna do 30 seconds of blooming. I'm gonna be doing the double. Pour. Okay, I'm gonna do. Uh, I'm gonna do initial pour. After 30 seconds, I'm gonna go all the way up to about 200 grams of coffee. So now I'm just gonna go go hard. Okay, I'm just gonna go hard here. It's called double pour method. Just gonna go here. 220. Let's go 220. Yeah, exactly. I'm just gonna do one last swerve. And we should be good. All right, so this one. Let's work on the SSP. Check this out guys, how fast this grinds is such powerful. They're so fast. There we go. It's about two minute shot there for the stock birds so let's take a look at this one the ideally i want to be somewhat close but we'll see i have no clue about the grinder setting so hopefully we're going to be close enough all right 15 gram I'm going to heat up the water temperature at 120, uh, 194. <clears throat> okay, we are just wait about... Heating up the 194. There we go. Start the time. I'm just going to, again, initially 30 gram here. Do the same method. Just stir it. I'm going to wait about 30 seconds. And they finish the pull. Just go hard. You got two twenty. Gonna do a swerve. It's pretty fast, okay. We're at minute and 
20 second, 30 second shot there. Minute and 30 seconds. I think, you know what? It's not too bad. I mean, both is pretty fast. So I think it's going to be pretty close. Okay. Comes the extraction time. I'm fine with that. Yeah. So this is the stock birds right here. So this is the SSP. Let's give it a try. Okay, let's try this shot. Again, it's gonna be, I have to say I'm very, I have a high hope for this. Okay, I have really high hope for this, so. I think we spent about an hour and 30 minutes to installing the SSP and after that we have to align it as well. And one of our friends, Sal, stopped by, help us out. So, again, he's not here, but here's to you, Sal. Okay. Smells pretty good. Look at the color, too. I mean, both grinders are spectacular, though. 98 is. They're huge. Look at the size of these birds. Okay. I just, I have to say, this is pretty... Pretty amazing. Here, guys. Cheers. Sweet, clean. Okay. I'm gonna wash down. By the way, so this one I got from Costco. Man. I know color. I don't, I'm not a big fan of it red, but they're double wall. Pretty good. <clears throat> so this is the SSPs. Cheers. <clears throat> wow. Man. I'm pretty impressed. Hold on. Let's try one more time. Sweet. There's no aftertaste. Hold on a second. Let's go back to <clears throat> stock birds. It's not as sweet. Has a little aftertaste. little bit of aftertaste compared to <clears throat> SSP <clears throat> Here, let, let's try one more time man I can taste the nuance <clears throat> man goodness hold on very fruity, floor, tea-like, no aftertaste. Man, you know what? It doesn't make a big difference, okay? I have to say, it does make a big difference. So, but you know what? I cannot wait to compare the 98 millimeter Bluebirds versus the, the 64 millimeter, the SSP cast. Okay, the cast birds, I mean, I've been drinking some of the best, the flavor profile from Casper, so I cannot wait to try that coming days and coming weeks. Uh, maybe we should do that next week. So far, these birds are really nice, okay? Very clean. Man, I mean, that's all I have to say. I mean, I wish you guys are here to taste this. It does not make a big difference uh, from uh, stock bird versus the SSP. So let's, let's see here. I mean, that's again a huge difference in the flavor. I cannot wait to compare that with uh, the SSP 64 millimeter cast versus the 
because it comes to uh, SSP 64 millimeter, I really enjoy the MP. I really enjoy the MP burst. But with uh, filter coffee, I prefer from cast over MP. But <clears throat> comes to espresso, I prefer MPs. The cat, uh, don't get me wrong, MP does a really good job. So pretty much MP does the espresso and filter coffee both really well. But Casper's uh, pretty much shines on filter coffee. Espresso, not too much. With this burst, same thing. So this burst, the filter coffee, just absolutely spectacular. Yeah, smooth. No aftertaste. It's pretty good. I'm going to shout out to friends at Live Chat. I got Martin from Hamburg, Jason. Let's see, I got My Adventure from Vegas. Richard's on as well. We got the Linda's on. Shout out to Jay Kim. Jay? Yeah, Jay has a SSP. Okay. You got the Ren? Again, uh, I'm, I think so. If you guys have missed uh, this, uh, this morning session, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put everything together, okay? I think I'm going to put three videos in one so you guys see it. But anyway, again, I'm going to big shout out to Joe at Espresso Outlet. Make sure to check it out, okay? He's on sale at $400 for DF64. If you get the DF64, you know what? Spend extra couple hundred bucks. Get the SSPs. Okay? Definitely get the SSP for sure. Because huge difference in your coffee quality. So, And make sure to have them align it too, okay? Just don't mess with alignment if you can. I mean, it's not that hard, but I think he only charges like 20 bucks or so. Yeah. Anyway, I hope you guys are having a wonderful afternoon, and I'm going to see you guys next time.